one of the other things that's been really interesting to see and i think to me is the biggest example as to why most regular people have an issue with nepotism and it mostly isn't because we don't you know believe that if you are successful in your field that you shouldn't give the opportunity to your kids to have the same level of success or access to things that you did it's just more so the unfairness of allowing people who maybe don't have a talent for what they do an opportunity to do things that they would never be able to do if they weren't the person that they are and there's no bigger example of that than Kendall Jenner walking some of these Paris Fashion Week shows because Kendall by on paper is a very attractive woman right she's very desirably very desirable looking um she's clearly um you know somebody that i think most men will be into clearly someone that most women will not look like and she's clearly somebody that you could say would look like a conventional model but once you put her amongst actual models who do this as a job or once you think about some of the legendary models that have come before her and you see her walking on the runway the first thing that you think about or the first thing that comes to know or to mind is just how ordinary she looks when she's walking right like, there's a video of her walking at Schiaparelli and you're just like god almighty like you can't even walk in a straight line there's a better video of this i don't have at the moment it's just her turning around there's a video of her walking um on that catwalk and she legitimately can't walk in a straight line and the funny thing about this particular catwalk Schiaparelli is it's more so done in a hot couture slow catwalk type of way mostly like a lounge i forgot what the actual name behind it was but the whole idea behind it was to have it like a slow presentation around amongst in front of sorry some very chosen select the vip people in the audience and less so of a glitzy big fashion runway thing so you can actually take your time more with the walk you can add a bit more personality to it it's a bit more um dare i say there's a bit more emotion to it it's just there's a little bit more artistry to it you could just show off a bit and do make it your own and even in this particular platform she's doing absolutely nothing and as the common trope is on social media she's absolutely serving absolutely nothing and the thing for me that's the main really startling thing about this is just that this is basically the issue most of us have with nepotism is the fact that the opportunities to walk on the runway like this are usually reserved for the best models out at the moment right and for her she's just been able to leapfrog certain steps because of her name because of her family name because of her clout her fame uh fucking social media forever it may be which is not a bad thing i think the bad thing or the annoying thing is just the insult to our intelligence from the people that are in those positions to say no but it wasn't handed to me i did everything hard i think there was one interview that she gave which was like oh i purposely would take my name off on the list and change my name so people didn't know it was me coming all this it's just like dude okay congratulations for having some level of self-awareness is better than 90 percent of the people out there but the main issue mostly is that a majority of these positions or some of the big positions out there some of the big opportunities get taken up by people who effectively get born on third base that's a really unfair cruel um realities of life that most people especially in the arts especially in entertainment um the only way you can weather the storm you can afford to work hard you can afford to work for free is that you're basically born within some level of privilege that allows you to take those chances but if you have a quote-unquote passion for fashion and you just want to do it for the love you really can't yeah there's only so far you can take that without your belly rumbling and you needed to actually work for something and work to make some actual money so that's the only real problem i have with it it's just the fact that you get given these opportunities as nepotism baby and instead of making the best out of it and actually trying to use it as a springboard to you know take yourself to a new direction or to basically highlight how good you are what you do you just do the bare minimum and if anything you end up confirming everybody's fears of why nepotism is a bad thing in general because look at this walk out of victoria beckham like even i being a non-model knows when you're walking on a runway that sort of turn that she done where she basically turned her face before turning her body isn't what you're meant to do in one respect right you're meant to actually probably leave your face um looking at the cameras where she's basically facing looking at you for as long as possible before you turn your body and you make it look as dramatic as possible but this basically looks like somebody you know when someone doesn't know how to dance and they're counting the steps in their head as they're dancing and you can you can actually you, it's almost like you can see them counting the steps in their head this is basically what it feels like when she's walking you can feel her counting the steps and listening to the cues in her head as she's walking this victoria beckham show and it looks really really horrible unfortunately but you also understand 
why certain designers want her to walk their shows because she brings eyes to your show and it's kind of press that you probably could never pay for so that thing sort of like makes all the sense but then i like that the final presentation of her or during paris fashion week was during um what you call it during uh the l'oreal show and this was basically the best version of her walk the best version that we saw because i think the memes were going around there she was a topic of discussion on fashion twitter for you know a number of hours and then i'm sure that word maybe got back to her and she decided hey i'm going to remind these guys about my power and just how good i am on a runway and we got this basically clip of her walking down the l'oreal runway um looking probably the best that she's looked you know doing the doing a model's walk on a runway and it's still nothing you know it's still serving really nothing it's kind of average at best and again just makes you realize that you know the life is basically rigged life is ultimately rigged and you just have to make the best of it with what you have essentially that is it basically it you can't sit here waiting for people to make things fair for you because life is rigged and people like this always get opportunities ahead of you because they're just born on third base but then sometimes they have the fucking cheek. They have the cheek, right? They have the cheek to insult our intelligence and tell us, no, I wasn't born on third base. It was just as hard for me as it is for any other model on the runway. You know, I think to yourself, hold on. How could it be possible, though, when you're not good at your job? It's one thing getting an opportunity. I think I'm the same thing when it comes to, um, when it comes to uh, affirmative action. It's one thing getting an opportunity based on your race or based on your gender, or your sexuality. That's a bit gross and a bit weird and a bit reductive, but fair enough. You got your opportunity. But once you get it, show out and prove. Prove to people that you belong to be there, that you didn't just get it because of your race, gender, or your fucking sexuality. At least show up and prove. But most people, I feel like, don't only want an equality of opportunity. They also want an equality of fucking outcomes. They want to be just as successful as these supermodels that came before them without doing the necessary work. But then they also want the same chances that those guys got. And it's just like, come on, bro. You're already born on third base. You already got everything handed to you on the silver plate. Can you just work for something? Can you just take some time off during your hectic schedule to work on your run, to work on your fucking walk? You've got all the time in the world. You don't work a regular job. You don't have responsibilities of having your own family. You've got plenty of free time that you could legitimately dedicate to pouring over archive footage, learning how to walk, watching some documentaries, speaking to some of these guys and girls, understanding their point of view at the time. That they're doing it. You could do all the work you need to do and then pop out looking like an absolute superstar on the runway. But no. Let me just do the bare minimum and get away with that. And then when people complain, I'll start crying about mental health. It's absolutely crazy, man. But hey, what can you do? Life isn't fair. And it kind of is what it is. It kind of is what it is.